Hey Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm looking good lately. Hey y'all, some of y'all got good news. Some of y'all, I already know. Y'all already know, don't y'all? Y'all know. Some of y'all, a lot of y'all. This, this, this is going to be called the final decision. I don't know. It's going pretty good for a lot of y'all. Well, I'm going to say about half and half. Let's just say half and half. Some of y'all, you know, y'all did last time. Y'all just talking about, I don't want to be with my ex. And I don't trust you. And I, all right, fuck it. Let's reconcile, baby. You know, it's how it went like that. Now this week, we about to see what's going down. I've been telling everybody, I'm a Pisces moon and I'm a Pisces rising. Well, guess what? I wouldn't look my chart. I, I screenshotted it. So when I went to go check it again because I was looking for like my my Mercury or my something. I want to look at the motherfucking uh, moon sign. The bitch says Scorpio. I said, damn, I've been telling people I'm a Pisces moon. So I had to change the box down there. Y'all see it say I'm a Scorpio, a Scorpio moon now because I'm a fucking Scorpio moon. <laughs> I spent so long disliking Scorpios <laughs> because I feel like, well, I ain't saying I'm, you know, I, I don't, I love y'all. Now I love y'all. I always love, like, love everybody, but some, like, when, as far as in my dating life goes, you know, people are like, no, I don't fuck with that sign. Scorpios is one of the signs I don't fuck with because I feel like they're good at telling you everything you want to hear, but they can't follow through on that shit. Now, that was back then. Now I learned a little bit more about Zodiacs and stuff, so I, each, it, everybody's different now, I realize, but... I'm a motherfucking Scorpio mom. <laughs> I'm gang gang, okay? So, which makes it really, I'm really a little happy for it because it's better than being a Pisces moon and a Pisces rising. At least Scorpio got little balls, you know what I mean? Pisces, we, you know, we might just sit around and cry. Scorpio, they know how to, they might cry, but they'll pull that stinger out. You know what I'm saying? They the toughest water sign. Why everybody else all sensitive? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all sensitive too, but y'all just, y'all know how to get a grip on that shit yeah <laughs> the king the king of cats you know how to mature that shit to be like you know what i can restrict myself from you meanwhile you got the cancer and the pisces all texting you and calling you all day like bitch you really done with me bitch this how you, you know it's like that you know anyway let's get into it so with this pile um it starts on the bottom with the nine of pentacles here i heard well i thought that's what i wanted turns out it's re it really wasn't and only way to go is forward now i remember why it didn't work in the first place and I heard reconciliation gone bad. So for this pile, just this pile, not everybody. Just this pile, your reconciliation didn't work. Okay, now you're back single. You're back single or wanting to be single or you're working on becoming single. And moving forward because you just like, I can love myself. Because it's, it's a lot. I think it's some shit here. You could have been dealing with some type of player like a person here. Yeah, but it all ultimately boils yeah, You feel like something. It's something that's unknown to you here. You feel like a secret's here. Some player-like energy. You feel something that's not that can't be trusted here. So here you are walking away yet again because you feel like it's some deception here. And your heart is broke. But except this time, your heart is broke for the final and last time because three of swords, seven of swords, ten of swords. You're closing out a cycle. You won't be. You thought you was going to reconcile, reconcile, but you changed your mind. Because you thought that's what you wanted. Because you really missed this person when they was gone. Or whatever y'all connection. Maybe they was a soulmate. But when you got back with them, you realized, why the fuck you didn't want their ass in the first place. So that's fun. Some Scorpio out there. That's Remember, I told you it's half and half. Now I'm going to go on to the other Scorpio that don't want to deal with this. Okay? Well, now I'm going to just keep it in line. Because uh, next we got this. This pal. I was shuffling up. Damn, Tom kept saying, let's stay together. I'm loving you weather, weather, times are good and bad, happy or sad. <laughs> but then I heard him say that they made, they played the part that say he say, um, ooh, they saying, why do people make up, ooh, and turn around and break up? Or something like that. I might say it backwards. And then he said, I just can't see. Or something like that. 
So that's the part that, that y'all can't see here to, to keep making up the breakup. That ain't working. So y'all coming together. I heard mutual agreement. And this group right here is going to be you and your person coming together in a mutual agreement Agreement that making up and breaking up ain't just working. Or one of y'all saying, we can't just keep making up and breaking up. That's just not going to work. And we're going to stay together, whether we happy, mad, sad, and the good or the bad, or we just going to let it go. So I feel like y'all mutually deciding to stay together. Y'all mutually deciding to, um, oh, damn. Wait a minute, I just picked up another story here. So let me stick to the story I got first first, and then I'll come back and switch it up. So y'all mutually agreeing to head the calmer part of waters. We've both, and then I heard, we are both paddling to get there. That's what love is. Okay, so for that's for somebody, but for another group of you I'm getting, or just maybe a few of you, I'm getting that y'all decided to go to calmer waters, but the calmer waters wasn't with each other. Ten of swords. It's over. And y'all going your own separate ways with the food card. But for the, those of you that I'm originally talking to, that's how, I just that just came through. But for those of you where this y'all gonna tread, y'all gonna go ahead and pedal and get the calmer waters together. Yeah, that's what y'all doing because um, the ending was lifted. Is what I what I got with this card. Do you see how in this ten of swords? In the other than the right away tech in the tech in the right away dead card deck. The swords pierce them. And all the other decks I got, the swords pierce them. This is an ending that's been lifted here. The swords have been lifted. The ending has been lifted here. So the ending has been lifted in order for you guys to sell in the karma waters. To take the sleep of faith with each other in order to have a victory. Because you guys will be investing here in one another. Putting in all your time, money, and money and energy into one another. Or to what you're going to build. Because you guys make each other extremely happy here. So that's for somebody... Okay, but for, uh, for some others of y'all, y'all deciding that the calmer waters would be best if we just separate and go our separate ways. Okay, because what's done is done. When the water got too much bridge under, when the bridge got too much water under it, there's nothing that can be done at that point. So let's move on to the next pal. Who kept singing? When I was shuffling up this card, it kept on going. The song is for this song. Let's stay together. But they ain't having a problem with the bad and the good and all that. They didn't specify in this one. It's just, let's stay together. Weather. The times are few. You know. So somebody, and then um, I got the wrong pile though. Because I see what it says on there. So I had to go back and get the other one. So, but it's a duality message with this one as well. I already wrote it down because I got it right when I was shuffling. So, I was struggling in my mind with this. Because it really affected me the first time. But now I see that I don't really want. It's going to go two ways. One of two ways. It's going one of two ways here, Scorpio. I really don't feel like it's going one or two ways, but it could. So I'm going to leave that possibility there. I feel like for the most part, for most of you, it's going one or one way. So I'm stalling to finish that. I really don't want to spend another day without you. But this is somebody telling you that. And it's echoing. So when they said, I really don't want to spend another day without you, it said without you. Without you, without you, without you. And it faded out. Why echo? We're going to get to why that's important in a minute. Now, that's somebody telling you that. I don't know that you feel the same way. Now, second case scenario is the first time it really affected me. But uh, so now I see that I really don't want to spend another day with you. You don't love me. You just love the thought of me. So somebody is just like, yeah, motherfucker, I see this. I really, I see this clearly. I was affected by it the first time. And now I see what's going on. And this could be the process that they're, they're they could be taking this process, may, maybe reacting like this because they feel trapped by their thoughts. And it could be in bo bottling up on them. Okay. So... At a one, it's going to be a flip. It's going to be the opposite. Like, it's going to be reverse for this pile. Like, if it if it appears that, 
if it appears that somebody wants to be with you, they really don't. And if it appears that they don't want to be with you, they really do. It's like that. So this person is saying, I don't want to spend another day with you um, because you don't love me. You just love the thought of me. That person's on some bullshit. They want to spend every fucking day of the rest of their life with you. The person is saying, spend another day without you, without you, without you. That person's on some fuck shit because they don't. They don't give a damn. They just saying that shit. That's why it's an echo because they constantly saying that shit. They always don't want to spend another day with you, without you. They always want to have you back. They always want to be with you again. They always want to then. Now, this is what I did for you. I took the liberty because I felt it on. I felt guided to look up echo. Okay, echo. It says sound that is repeated. That's what it is. Something that's repeated. So somebody's constantly saying the same thing, something you hearing over and over. Okay, now. Somebody's constantly telling you the same shit, but they ain't meaning it every time. If you got to keep telling me, but you're steady telling me, that means I haven't seen no no, no facts or no uh, viable proof to it yet. Okay? So then it says, the direction of sound changes the echo. Um, that It says, the direction of sound changes. The echo sounds the same as the original sound. So even though they may be presented to you in a different way, each time it still sounds the same. It still turns out the same. So that is, in fact, keeping you in your head as well. So I feel like this you are you tired of the echo. Whoever this is that keep hearing the same, oh, I don't want to be without you. I feel like you feel this bullshit at this point. And it's just, in the, it's just what they're doing in order to try to keep you stuck here in your head. Now, for you other person sitting here, I'm like, I don't want to spend another day with you. Um, You don't love me. You just love the thought of me. You just trapped in your head. And you just lack in perspective because if you really want to be completely and utterly honest with yourself, you love this person. You want to be with them. You're just trying to stand some ground here because you feel like you can't have stability with them. And for the other person, I'm going to put these back in here so I keep running it down. For the other person with the echo where this person keeps repeating it and not showing any invaluable proof, you realize here, you gain a perspective that this person just wants to keep you trapped here. They try to keep you trapped in this relationship, two of cups, in this situation or whatever it is with them. So I feel like you're going to be standing your ground here because you feel like you can't get no stability in this situation. So you're going to be making a decision to go after something new here with the, um, this is your decision and choosing here to be happy, choosing your own happiness here um, with the ten of cups. But you're choosing some new um, inspired direction new inspired some new in it. you want new and newness okay so that's still a 50 50 now this pile is all the fuck in i'm not sure why the hell that song kept singing let's stay together oh it's because somebody is lying like because even this person saying out their mouth they don't want to be with you because they don't feel like you love them um, you love the thought of me. I feel like that's a woman Scorpio. It might not be. It could be a man Scorpio saying, I don't want to be with you. You don't love me. You just love the thought of me. But you really do want to be with that person. You want to, in a re deep down, is singing, let's. I want to stay together. So bullshit. Get out that bullshit. Okay. And then for that, somebody, whoever keeps telling this motherfucker that they want to be with them, you need to stop it. Cut the bullshit. Because you're right. You don't really want to be with this motherfucker. You just want them to be a, you just want access. That's what it is. You want access to their energy. You want access to what they bring to your life. You want access to what's on their table is what I'm hearing. So cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> that song just came up. Your price is way too high. You need to cut it. Your mouth just telling lies. You need to cut it. Oh, the answers is think they right for this time. Oh, okay. What? I was in the wood. Okay. Okay. All right. So, if this isn't love, tell me what it is. I'm on a new pal now, by the way. I could be dreaming or just playing crazy. That's Jennifer Hudson. Y'all know that song, right? If this isn't love. If this isn't love, then tell me what it is. Cause I've never felt like this, baby. You ain't never felt like this, baby. Never felt like this, baby. <laughs> That's the song. That's what the song say. L O V E is what it means to me. <laughs> oh, this isn't love. Somebody saying, if this ain't love, then tell me what it is, honey. Cause I know this is love. Now. Pinch me and tell me it is. Pinch me and wake me up if it isn't. Because you can't tell me this ain't love. Now. So, I heard. I'm all in. I see the potential of what we could have. Ooh. I like it. Then we got the food card on the bottom. Somebody's going out there to take a leap of faith here. Because they gained 
a perspective, a perspection, a perspective. They gain a new perspective is what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say. And this new perspective showed them of how for wishes, how, how, how much for wishing they could see in the situation with you. And that was all they needed to make this final judgment call here. They coming in, they inspire, they inspired to take some type of new action towards you here because they want to see victory. So here they are, which they, I feel is you, you. You or somebody you're dealing with, maybe you both of y'all, y'all taking some type of inspired action here to take the leadership role to have a, to have victory here, okay? So all in, the reconciliation's going great, baby. <laughs> reconciliation's going great. And maybe this is something new here. It could be something new, but that's Scorpio right there. But yeah, that's what I got for y'all as far as those go, that goes. So let's just get into it. Let's see which deck we'll be using right here. We're going to start with this one. I don't know which one we're going to cut out with yet. No? I wanted to use this one. Man. Like y'all could karate chop the shuffle. <laughs> it said no. The no would have been just fine. <laughs> no, somebody don't want to be trapped in their mind no more. Somebody don't want. Somebody's trapped in their mind and they won't be trapped in their mind no more. So, does that mean I can't use this deck? Well, y'all karate chopped again. I won't use it, but I'm just saying. I thought that was saying no. That means that. <laughs> Somebody's saying no. They don't want to be trapped in their mind. No. I don't want to be trapped. No. 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 Every time I believe you, I'm stuck. Somebody's not believing somebody. Somebody don't want to believe somebody this time because every time they do, they end up trapped in their thoughts, going crazy in their mind, and they just don't want to do that no more to themselves because they don't feel like the other person is um, stands on their word. I'm hearing. What messages do we got for Scorpio? God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Well, I was gonna just wait and see if y'all chopped it before I asked. <laughs> Since we chop it up together. I guess that was somebody's somebody's uh energy feeling I'm gonna throw the whole shit away. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what we got. Let's go the else. I love y'all Scorpios. Y'all fuck with me for real. And now I know why y'all fuck with me. I'm a Scorpio moon. We got a bond. <laughs> More messages for the Scorpios, please. Okay. Bottom of the deck is why I saw it happen. The Hierophant. So somebody's dealing, going, wanting to get married here. Somebody's looking at marriage or a commitment or long term. Some type of higher level of commitment. Somebody's having... Um, some type of transformation in spirituality. Somebody's gaining a higher level of knowledge when it comes to their spirituality. But somebody, I feel like somebody, um, this is a lot to do with marriage here. Here, I'm feeling it. The long run. I'm hearing for the long run. Somebody's, this is marriage. Why it's happening is because somebody wants to get married. Ten of Cups, because... They extremely fucking happy and they waited for this moment they hold. I waited for this my whole life. Ace of Wands. Oh my God. Scorpio is heating up in here. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Y'all, what's going on? It's looking great. So we got marriage over here. Why is all happening? Or some type of higher level knowledge, spirituality here. But we got new beginnings out the ass. So we got somebody being really happy here with the Ten of Cups. They wait, waited, something about they waited for this for a long time. And Ace of Wands starting up. Something that's des a, a des destined, your destiny. Something that is aligned with your destiny. So somebody's been waiting here for a very long time to get here. Um, to, to go in union here. Oh. So some of y'all could be like, I don't want to start throwing out labels yet. Oh, look at that on the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. I like that energy. That's you. Um, something to do with somebody waited a long time for this. Yeah. 
they knew that it's like I waited a long. They knew this, like they knew they knew it was a part of their destiny, but it's just took. It's, it's been a long time coming here, and they finally could see see it in in the, in the 3D world. See the tangibility of like bring it into form, is what I'm hearing. So let's get into some clarifications. Why is the ten of cups here? I like this Scorpio. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely spread here. Ten of cups. Clarify this ten of cups here, Scorpio. What's going on here? This happiness state that they done waited so long for. What is it? And I know change don't come. It's been a long, long time coming. So somebody, somebody somebody's finally getting the change that they wanted after so long here. And it's official too with the hierophant. It's an official change. But you knew. You knew change was coming. You knew it, Scorpio. For some of you, you knew that this was coming. You've been waiting on it. You've been waiting on it because you knew that it was coming because you knew that it was aligned with your destiny. It was just a matter of time before it came into form, into into to form and brought you proof in the tangible, intangible proof in this in the in three D world. But you knew it. You knew that this was a this was a spiritual connection here. Okay, is this divine masculine, divine feminine stuff going on here? Let's check. Ten of Cups, what's this? What's this Ten of Cups for the Scorpio, please? Three of Swords. me for a little loop. You know, I'm sitting here trying to see what else is coming because I'm like, three of swords. Because it's like somebody new here. Somebody new. Nine of swords reverse. Yeah, in the past. That's why I feel like somebody got hurt in the past. That's why I feel like this is a part of that. This is part of a reconciliation, I feel like. The part of the reconciliation that you in now because um, somebody hurt somebody in the past with the three of swords. Or this is something to do with a correlation, I'm hearing. A correlation. I don't know what that means. It's some type of correlation here that that that, that links everything together. That that connects the dots for you, I'm hearing. So for some of you, this ain't heartbreak at all. It's some type of correlation of truths that connects a matters of the heart here. That's so weird. I ain't never got that with the three. So, so this is not somebody. For some of you, you could have got hurt in the past by this person, um, but that's over. Okay, but for a lot of you, look at this. This ain't. This don't even kind of look like a real heart if you look at it. It ain't no blood or nothing. But look at all those short, those swords of truth. And look how it makes the heart light up like that. I feel like all those truths together is a correlation, and it births something beautiful. And I feel like somebody knew. Somebody knew something about this. Somebody knew. Somebody like so. Somebody. I feel like it was more than one. Somebody. I just feel like three swords would be three truths. So more than one person had to know something. Okay, and when you bring all that knowing together, did it form something beautiful here? So, but I feel like the person on the top knew the mo What are y'all doing? Girl, I just my door. Chill, I'm recording. Um, I feel like the sword on the top knows the most, though. And somebody could even have two swords. But I don't know, it forms some type of correlation here. Some type of correlation. I keep getting something about a correlation. I wish I would have remembered what I was saying when I got that bump from my kids because it could have been like a confirmation. But y'all, y'all remember, right? Because it's for y'all. Um, 
So I just feel like this person, whoever this whoever this sword right here belongs to, I feel like they was more knowledgeable than anybody because this sword is on the top because I feel like it has a higher perspective over the whole situation here. I feel like it knew that this other two these other two swords was going to come together to it at some point. So I feel like this ace of swords at the top represents you. That's you and your truth that you already knew. And in the bottom, this is the correlation bringing it all together here. And you was waiting for it because you knew that it was coming. You knew that it was a part of your destiny here. You knew it. So the whole time you stood your ground here because you already knew that the pain and the nightmare and the, the suffering and stuff was over, over because you knew that a judgment call had been made. And you knew that this, you knew somehow, I feel like some type of spiritual guidance told you. You knew it because it was your path too. But you knew that it was other people's that was attached to your path is what I'm trying to say. So, okay, I like it. So what's the case of wands? So I feel like all, everything's dying out. Everything's subtle. Okay? Dying out. Not dying out. I just feel like everything's subtle. I don't know what made me say dying out. I don't feel like nothing bad is happening here, though. I don't want to shuffle the cards the wrong way because that ain't putting me in a bad situation. Just a second. Damn it. Okay, so let's see about this Ace of Wands here. I feel like somebody stood their ground in the situation. They didn't stress. They didn't allow themselves to be stressed. They didn't allow themselves to sweat the situation because they already knew. They made the decisions because they already knew. They standing their ground and waiting on this happiness because they already knew it was coming to them. Because they know. They know what God told them about their destiny. They know what God told them about their path. Here. So they were just standing their ground and waiting because they knew something was coming here. What if I just ace of wands? Scorpio. Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. With temperance and the universe helping. Bringing it all in balance. So you knew. So you knew the universe was working behind the scenes. So you just was sitting there chilling. Not stressing because you knew. You knew that it was coming all together. The correlation with the three of hearts. I mean the three of swords. It was coming all together. You knew the correlations. Well you knew the correlation that you had. But you knew that it was going to be other correlations to bring it all together. Which you, you just sat there and you wait on the universe to move and, and look what's happening here some cycles coming to a close here some type of cycles coming to a close here some type of transformation i feel like a trend i don't know if it's a transformation or a death happening here like not a death but something being over closing harsh times i don't know i feel like where times were where things were chaotic and harsh and you weren't able to see tangible proof of this i feel like that's what's coming to a close because it's time for wishes to be granted. It's time for wish your wishes to be fulfilled. And I feel like another thing that's coming to a close here is the chapter of you and your self love. I feel like it was self. Maybe you were working on self love at the time. Maybe you you guys were in separation um, for you guys to work on your self love because the nine of cups. You had the ten of cups. Now the nine of cups is where you find love within yourself first before you can go out and offer it to somebody else. And I feel like you've completed that. You completed the transformation within the self-love process, and, and that's over here. And now you're ready to move on and be going to your Ten of Cups here. And this, your new beginning is, is here. It's where it's coming into fruition here with the Ace of Wands here. That's why you could have been one of the people that reconciled last week, or you will be reconciling coming up here because um, the universe is behind the scenes working to bring this to you because it is designed. It is, in fact, designed with your path, and all you really want to do is charge in passionately, put in some equal give and take, and see some just see some um deception is what i was going to say and see some equal give and take but i said see some deception because i seen the seven of swords a little bit couple cards down for some of you 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 are deceiving yourself and saying that you want to stay single when in fact you really know that there's a person out there that ultimately and completely makes you happy and you really would love to have this this, this destined new beginning with them i feel like this is a part of destiny here destiny is coming into play here this is destiny. It was written in the star. And now you're about to see some tangible proof of it. 
because I feel like you knew it was destiny here. And maybe people gave you a hard time around you about it here. But you knew all alone that it was destiny. And I feel like it's all about to come right into fruition. And everybody that thought it was a game is going to find out that it ain't no game. And this shit is real. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles here. This is where the proof is tangible. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio. I need some more lip gloss. I knew that Ace. I felt the energy of the Ace of Cups. I feel that the people had they hating, mad jealous, mad jealous and hating because you manifested. I feel like this is a manifest that you brought to fruition. I feel like you could have told a couple people about it. I'm getting that you did. You did. You communicated. Yep. So what? You was manifesting. People talk about manifestations all the time. Yep. I sure did. I talked about it, but I had no clue that these motherfuckers was in competition with me. I had no clue. I had no clue that they wanted to keep me trapped here. I had no clue that they was jealous and envious, bitch. But guess what? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups in the sun. I made it, says the Scorpio. Three fucking Aces, Scorpio. With the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. That's a gift from the universe here. Saying to me that you've been through a lot here, a whole lot. That you've been wounded here. That you're healing here, but you're still willing to stand up. Stand up a fight for this. Uh, potential this is the opportunity of new beginning with an emperor slash emperor and yes you might be healing but an emperor an emperor slash empress that's something you won't be passing up here so yeah you'll be healing and you'll still be working on this slow all these aces at the same time but for some of you i feel like you already healed most of the way anyway you might be completing or wrapping up your healing but you ready hyperfine what's this this is why it's happening here why it's happening because there's a spiritual connection here. It's some type of divinely guided spiritual connection that was destined to happen. Twin flames. It's safe for me to call it a twin flame. I don't call it twin flame unless I see my twin flame cards come out that I consider to be twin flames. But I don't see none of them here. But the fact that my guys are saying this is destiny and that this is the hierophant, I feel like this is um, some type of twin flame. Um, destiny. Destined path. And since it's in love, the destined divine um, written in the stars path in love will be a twin flame. That's how I proceed on my channel. Thank you. Okay, the Hierophant. Why is it here? The star. There's the wish, the hope, and the healing. The faith. Six of Cups. Page of Cups. What else on this Hierophant? Said I done it all, but frankly, girl, I'm tired of this emptiness. I wanna come home to you and only you. Cause making love to just anyone ain't happening. I just gotta be with you. When I think about us finishing something we started so long ago. Past life. I just wanna give you my all. When I think about Baby, us having some babies. Come on, won't you be my lady? Uh oh, somebody's getting married. Somebody's meeting at the altar. That's what that song's about. Meet me at the altar in your white dress. And they sure. We ain't getting no younger, so we might as well do it. They're getting down on one knee. Feel you all of the all. Need something. I don't know what the rest is. Girl, let's just get married. I just want to get married. It's where they belong. It's where home is. Home is where this where they feel like home at. And they're gonna say it. Are they gonna speak it? Are they gonna they're living it? Are they gonna give a small gesture to heal? It's gonna be somebody somebody some of y'all ain't in, in, in union yet. Some of y'all ain't in union, but justice is working behind the scenes to help you get there. Your person could be going through some type of ending here to give them the, the cur give them some type of courage or strength. Wow, where we at? 34. I'm gonna get you some advice on this. Cause I'm calling this this read the final decision. And that's what they told me to call it, but shit. It's it's several ways that some of y'all's decisions, some of y'all ain't gonna be reconciling with this. Because it's gonna be turning out that 
it, it's not, I don't know, because I roll with the first part of that, because this right here is a, a definite reconcile. This ending of this, this spread part of it is definitely a reconciliation, reconciliation with somebody here. But if you, this ain't your story and you ain't, you know, on good terms with your person and y'all ain't rocking and everything, things is just shitty. I mean, the universe might still be working behind the scenes. I ain't gonna say if you a twin flame. You know if you're a twin twin flame. If you not, if you don't know, you gotta figure that out. Get your own discernment. But I'm saying that there's somebody here dealing with a twin flame situation. Where they will be going into union. And they already have come into union and things are going splendid. Okay? Because the tough times are behind them. Now that they have come into union after a separation, they don't top there is no more tough times here. All the tough times are behind them. If they do get tough times, they know how to weather the storm. Because they were built for this. They were made for this. They were trained for this. It was lessons. All the lessons they learned up until this point helped to get to this point. So I'm just saying. What advice do we got for the Scorpios around the square, please? Advice for the Scorpios regarding the spirit. Stand up for your rights. Why they put major pain in there and then they gave me the seven of wands. Somebody out here standing up for their rights. Somebody needs to stand up for their rights. Stand up for their right and what they believe in. Okay, that's for somebody here that needed it. Even if that means you got to lose some type of income. Or even if that means you got to lose a job. Stand up for what you believe in. Okay, you'll get a new one, an even better one with the Empress. That's for somebody here. Yep, it's to do with their job here. But overall, that was just a message for somebody that needed it. Um, overall, I feel like you're standing, somebody's standing their ground here. Stand your ground. They're standing up for what they believe in. And they don't care if they have to lose money. I don't know why losing money is in here. Maybe a relocation would have to take place, or they would have to downsize, or... I don't know why they feel like they would have to lose money, but they just really don't care because they want this love with this empress. So that's what they, this advice is. Don't worry about. Oh, somebody could be standing their ground against their negative mindset too. standing their ground against the thoughts, their low vibrational thoughts, thinking they ain't good enough with their thoughts being out in the cold, thinking that they lack shit, standing their ground against the lack. That's what they're telling you. You need to stand your ground. Stand up for what you believe in and leave that lack mentality out here. Or stand your ground even if you start to experience um, a loss in finances. Some Something new will come in here and it will be even better. That's what it's telling you in the finance. I don't know why I switched to finances. But but on the love note, somebody stand up for what you believe in. Don't worry. Finances is telling you don't worry about the lack in finances or the loss of finances or the lack in something. You lack it nothing. Don't worry. Stand your ground. Don't worry about lacking nothing. Go in for the kill is what I'm hearing. So, yeah. That's what I got for you on that, Scorpio. And I do hope that helped you. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in your next video. Namaste.